What is going on guys? It's Fatal Reaver Day and I just wanted to wish you or start this video off with wishing you a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a really good Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, all that. And we're going to jump into this video. This video is going to focus on is the HP Pavilion a good Christmas gift? And we're going to jump right into that just right after this. I just wanted to say thank you guys for the amazing year. I've had so much success on the YouTube channel so far. I've gotten a lot of subscribers. We get more and more every day bringing new get people on the channel with a laptop and even other videos I've spent off to do like on my uh, scuff controller for instance stuff like that just other stuff like that and it's been it's been wonderful I've been seeing some amazing views I did get monetized on YouTube um, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot now that I got better internet just moved out this year as well so it's been really exciting I've been getting a lot of stuff and I just wanted to take this, this you know as far as Christmas goes and everything I'm very thankful for each and every one of you if you have any questions or anything you need help with anything Leave me some comments down below. I appreciate it. Like I said, as always, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. All of you, Happy New Year. And let's jump into this video and get started on why this HP Pavilion is a great... All right, guys. In this portion of the video, I just kind of wanted to pan over and kind of show you the setup that I do have it on the laptop here. Um, and you know, as far as, uh, you know, you can kind of turn this in and obviously here's my desk. This is where my main PC in is, PC is and everything. You could definitely have, you know, your laptop, if you only have one laptop, um, and not a PC or anything, you could put it on your desk and everything. But this is kind of the setup I have. I have the cooling pad here where I can turn on the, obviously the fan, uh, turn on the LED that it does have. You can also turn it off on. I have my little uh, mouse right here beside. Obviously, if you had a desk, you have it all set up. Kind of like a computer desktop is kind of what I used to have it. I do have it panned off here to the side now for everything like that. Um, but like like I said, guys, you know, this laptop is pretty much, it is a really good laptop. Um, there is one that went on sale at Walmart. It was called the MSI. If you were to get that one or looking to get that one, it does have the same specs as the HP Pavilion. So if you wanted to get that, I would highly recommend that one too. It does have the same specs. Um, but like I said guys laptop is still pulling forth or pulling through it's been over It's been like a year and at least three months now that I've had it and it's still going great Have the whole little setup right here next to my PC and everything I sometimes I used to pull it over here on the desk, but I do have dual monitor setup So it's kind of hard, but uh, I still bring be bringing you guys videos later on and everything like that So this is just kind of the portion of the video where I just want to show you the new setup with it how everything's going on This is actually where I film it I have the charger ran over there underneath the desk that's how i charge it i can just kind of basically just jump on my chair switch over to here switch back over to here so i have both run at the same time when i'm doing videos and everything like that so um let's switch over to the next clip of the video though but i hope you enjoy this little show where my little setup here for the laptop next to my desk and everything so all right, guys, in this portion of the video uh, about talking to the HP Pavilion, obviously you just saw the setup that I have. In this video, the first thing you're seeing is my actual main PC setup playing Fortnite. And I always use that on my videos as far as I'm doing comparisons, just to show you, a, obviously, a comparison. And this is, this is all epic settings. In the next clip, you're going to see all epic settings on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. And again, let's really start getting into the HP Pavilion gaming laptop as a whole. So why I think it's a good Christmas gift or for anyone going to just get it for Christmas, say you get money for Christmas, you're thinking about getting one, can't really afford a custom built PCs, which I, if you're looking for a actual PC, I do recommend a custom built PC. But if you can't and you're looking for a good laptop, this is a great laptop to have. I still use it, still uses my secondary and I still run Fortnite and even Warzone on it. It will play Warzone. Towards the end of the video, we do have the new Caldera map showing you that too. So, like I said, in this portion, you're seeing me play on the uh, 2070 Super setup that I have as my main PC. It's what I stream on. Here in the next clip, we're going to be showing you actually the HP Pavilion gaming laptops, uh, settings, and everything like that. So, on this portion, we are doing ep all epic settings on the HP Pavilion. Again, frame corner and the uh, frame counter in the very left corner. It's about set. It's about 60 to 70, 80 FPS, give or take. This does have 16 gigs of RAM. So I do highly recommend, it does come with single channel, 8 gigabyte RAM is your stock. I do recommend upgrading to 16 gigs dual channel RAM that will give you an extra boost, somewhat of an FPS boost on some games, and plays a lot more fluid. 
like I said, guys, this laptop has no issues playing anything. If you want to check out more videos and more games, do check out. I'm going to have a little thing pop up here in the right corner for you guys. Um, it will show you uh, all my videos. It's a whole playlist of nothing but different games being tested on this laptop. Plays every single one flawlessly. Um, I do have some people ask why. Some people think I'm playing on an Xbox because they see the controller. I have a controller plugged up to my laptop and my PC. That's what I play with. I play with controller. Um, I don't play with keyboard and mouse. But it is on the HP Pavilion, and that to uh, re re um, to jump on that. So the laptop's uh, keyboard is not bad either. It's got a really good mouse, a little mouse pad. I do recommend getting an external mouse. Uh, you can even do an external hard drive. So I did a video where or not an uh, external hard drive. Obviously, you can have an external hard drive, which is how I have the games. So you can do upgrades like that. I'm an external monitor. I do have a video on that too if you guys want to check that out. You can, you know, you can do so many different things with this laptop to have it set up just like a PC and, and it play flawlessly. And it, I'm, what I'm trying to get down to of why it's a good gift, just it's bare bones, 8GB uh, even with 8GB RAM. It's still able to play all these games that I've tested just completely easily. I mean, I played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fortnite and Warzone off 8 gigabytes of RAM when I first tested these games on this laptop. Uh, obviously, I had to keep the settings more towards the low side, but it still played nonetheless and had no issues playing it. So, like I said, guys, this is a great Christmas gift if you're just con uh, getting it for someone, uh, maybe someone that's just getting into For a starter, it is, like, phenomenal. For a starter, like, PC that you're getting into PC gaming or anything like that, or gaming in general, is just phenomenal. And this clip you're seeing, this is the new Caldera map. You can see your se but the settings that I put. Most of them are on low, so you don't go over the RAM usage. Um, that That is Warzone. Multiplayer plays a little easier like on Vanguard. I do have a Vanguard test too if you guys want to check that out but I used Warzone in this proportion just to kind of get the whole because obviously Warzone takes a lot more to run and the new Caldera map is a bigger map I do believe um, so I did do a little test on that too. You can see the full video on my uh, YouTube channel again if you want to click it and check in the playlist uh, you will see it on there. So, like, in this proportion, I was actually shocked that it played the Caldera. I was afraid I was going to run into some lag or maybe some delay when I jumped into the Caldera map. But I have to, you know, t I have to say it played flawlessly. No issues. I jumped right into a game, and it actually looked really, really good. I mean, when I saw this, I felt like I was playing on my regular PC for a second. And then I had to remind myself I was actually playing on the laptop doing a test for the video. Uh, so, it, it's again, guys, it's just a flawless laptop. It's, I've not had any issues really with it. Yeah, you'll get some stutters here and there. Uh, do make sure you upgrade your graphics drivers and stuff like that. Keep everything like that up to date. I'm actually doing that myself right now as I'm doing the recording of this video. Uh, so you uh, download GeForce Experience. So download GeForce Experience. That will help you keep your drivers up to date. Also comes with a recording software known as Shadowplay. You can do some recording and stuff like that. Uh, again, I have videos on every one of these things I'm mentioning right now. All on my uh, my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, hit that like button on all of them. Really appreciate it. If you've got any questions, I'll try to help you out in the comments down below of the videos. Anyways, like I said, if you'll check out those individual videos, you can see individually how, you know, you can record, uh, get GeForce Experience, upgrade your graphics drivers, all that stuff. I go in complete detail about it. There are plenty of things as far as upgrades you can go to. Uh, I may have a uh, show at the end of this video. So, like, you can get, um, I do have a video on that, too, of, like, best upgrades. You can get an external hard drive. So, people wonder how I'm playing all these games. I do have an external hard drive. Obviously, I download the off Steam or Battle.net, whatever, you know, you're playing. Obviously, Caldera and stuff would be off Battle.net for Modern Warfare and stuff like that. Uh, that's where you would get all that, and you download the games on the external hard drive, obviously, and an external hard drive, especially one that's not an SSD, you can get them for, you know, $50, $60, and you can get a good one terabyte for that. So there's definitely more options. The RAM upgrade is only about 30 to 40 bucks, so it's a good investment to make and definitely have you a good, decent laptop. Like I said, guys, this laptop can keep up. I mean, it can keep up with my PC. Obviously, my PC can run and stream and all kinds of other stuff. But the laptop itself can stream, too. I've got a video on that as well. You can stream on it. Um, it's, like I said, it just there's nothing really bad to say about it. I've never really ran into any issues where I would have said, oh, my gosh, this is a garbage laptop. I'm going to toss it. It's always been such a good laptop. Um, I bring it on the go, to Obviously, play some yeah, biggest thing I play is Minecraft on it uh, when I'm just, you know, out and about um, on vacations and stuff like that. I also play Warzone on it, as you can see, and I mean, it's just great for that. And it, obviously, you know, if you're on console and you don't have an FOV slider, obviously you can't, you don't have that yet, and they probably are not going to come out with that. I doubt it. They've been saying it forever. Don't see them com that coming out on here on Warzone. 
anytime soon. So if you did get this laptop, there's your FOV slider. So, and it does, I'm going to tell you this right now, this laptop definitely does play better than an Xbox One. At least the Xbox One S that I used to have, it couldn't play crap. Um, so I definitely say, like, or better than a Nintendo Switch. I do have a Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, I plan to do a comparison possibly on that, but uh, it can play Fortnite, obviously. But this plays better than both of those and a PS4. So you're definitely getting a little bit of an upgrade past the console level if you get this laptop. That That is a complete fact. I have tested that myself. I One of my friends had an Xbox. We went side by side to it, and I looked at everything. Definitely played so much smoother, and there was definitely more delay. And I, also, I used to have an Xbox One S, and it was horrible. I would get lagged out, or I would crash every second on Fortnite. Frames would drop, all kinds of stuff. Don't have any issues with this laptop. Rarely do. If it is, it's a simple fix. Upgrade a, you know, update graphics driver, anything like that. Maybe restart it, refresh it, bam, done. But like I said, guys, this has been a great laptop. No issues. It is a wonderful Christmas present. If you were to get some this for Christmas, it would be a great present. Or yourself, if you got some money for Christmas, go on to get it. I highly recommend it. It was one of the best purchases I've made. It was about $600 when I got it. I know now I think it's running toward the 700 800 range, especially. It's pretty in high demand uh, in most places. You might can find a sale on it. I would definitely get it. Again, this is the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop 15, or HP Pavilion 15 is what they call it. Uh, and it, it still just runs wonderful. I mean, I've had no issues out of it. You can see all these games are played. Do check out the playlist on my channel and everything like that. I uh, hope you guys, again, check uh, hit that like button. Subscribe, as always. We're getting a lot of new viewers, I know. I hope this brings in a lot of new viewers as well. If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. Again, check out the playlist. It has all those individual things that you can check out for that. Um, uh, and again, if you have any questions, leave me some comments down below. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a very happy new year. Uh, in this, in this portion of the video, I'm going to just show a little bit. This is where I was showing some upgrades. You can see right there on the right with the USB plugged up. That is my external hard drive. This was my old setup I used to have back in my old desk. And again, you can have an external monitor, external hard drive. You can definitely turn this laptop into something that uh, almost like a desktop in a sense and have it run off things. Um, and just, it just, it all the way around, you can have a really good setup with the laptop and everything. It's got a lit up keyboard that lights up green and stuff like that. So it definitely has a lot of cool functions. And you're only paying about seven to $800, where if you were to build a PC, you're going to spend at least, you're going to at least run you at least twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. So you're definitely saving some money, too, if you wanted to go for that. Or if you just wanted a laptop in general. Laptops are obviously more better to carry and stuff. Lighter weight, definitely easier to run around with instead of carrying your PC, your uh, heart uh, monitor, all that stuff like that. Um, like I said, guys, hit uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next video after the new year. We got I got plenty of more videos coming for you guys, all on these new games. God of War is coming out. Definitely will jump on that and do a video on that. So this is me signing off for the year. Um, this isn't the last video I have coming up, but this is the last video I'm making for the year. I'm going to take a break for the holidays, see family and everything. Hope you guys do the same. Again, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.